hello, i'm kristen volk on this tuesday, the twenty fifth day of september two thousand and seven with a upi top news headline president bush is calling on the united nations to fight for freedom in areas of poverty and terror that's as the annual u n. general assembly gathering of world leaders gets under way today he's also expected to announce new sanctions against the military regime in myanmar for banning protests by buddhist monks and students bush is one of the first speakers on a list that features iranian president mahmoud ahmadinejad the White House says Bush's speech today will not be about Iran, and only a brief mention will be made about that topic. Negotiators from the United Auto Workers Union and General Motors are due back at the negotiating table today. That's after 73,000 union members went on strike against the nation's largest automaker yesterday. There was no comment on either side as to what was accomplished during the first post-strike round of bargaining yesterday afternoon. The impact of the strike is expected to spread as suppliers are likely to start scaling back or halting production. And California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger says he would sign legislation to end state investment in companies that do business with Iran. That, he says, is an effort to try to pressure the nation to crack down on terrorism. The bill would ban the nation's two largest public pension funds from investing in companies that are involved in developing Iranian petroleum or that work on nuclear projects. A spokesman for Schwarzenegger says the governor would sign the bill as early as this week. A prosecutor in Senator Larry Craig's sex sting case says the lawmaker seemed in control and not panicked as he negotiated a guilty plea after being arrested in an airport bathroom in June. That's contradictory to what Craig said, arguing that he pled guilty to disorderly conduct out of panic. In three separate phone calls, the Idaho senator reportedly questioned the prosecutor about details for a plea agreement in which the prosecutor described Craig as calm and methodical. That prosecutor reportedly told the senator that the plea would become public and to seek the counsel of a lawyer. Thanks for watching today's news headline and join us tomorrow for more news and updates. Have a great day.